Hello everyone, welcome to Addy's Ad Gaming Time and today this is the official Halloween special. We may be talking about other stuff non-Halloween related but ah uh, screw it, it's my show. Here's the intro. Welcome to Addy's Ad TV. You know you want to watch it. Okay, first, I got myself a Switch and also a game, yes. Now, I will be playing this on Addy's Games and play I'm piling up on stuff that I've been piling up on multiple video games for a long time, like games like Call of Duty, um, Modern Weather, I'm not even above the same name, uh, Battlefield 1, because honestly, the campaign is not easy to complete, it's very difficult, you have to die a couple of times. I hope they change that for Battlefield uh, 5, um, yeah. I'm also piling up on Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars um, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2 which is a game that I'm not even sure I'll continue but yeah. Sometime after Halloween there should be an unboxing video of me unboxing this lovely Nintendo Switch. Honestly it's not too bad. I do plan to get more games for it um, but yeah it's very good. I find this perfect timing to talk about General Grievous in Battlefront 2. Now, one of the descriptions that I have stick in my head about Grievous is that he looks like a hellish figure, and that's totally right and appropriate to release him on October 30th, one day before Halloween. So, I don't know, it's just a nice occasion. Now, I've played as General Grievous in Battlefront 2, and what do I think? I feel like he's just a nice new addition. After all this time, after like all this time from like December to now, we have finally got a new villain to the villain roster, and I'm guessing it's just about to get better because we've got November. But honestly, I cannot stress enough: General Grievous is amazing, and EA Star Wars have put out a community update video around Grievous, so again, if you want to go and see what General Grievous may look like, or what he sounds like and all that, or he's voiced by Matthew Wood, um, I'm going to play a little bit of gameplay footage that I recorded, and including some of the community update video. Four times ability is called Unrelenting Advance, and it's one of General Grievous's most iconic moves. When this ability is used, he will form a spinning lightsaber wall in front of him, blocking all frontal attacks while dealing damage to enemies standing in his way. It's really cool. He arrives with the default Jedi Hunter appearance. You can also unlock his battle damaged appearance, which adds even more to his intimidating look. Another to be announced appearance will also be available coming later in November. So you may have noticed that I have delayed the After the Offense 4 film and that's reason being is because I'm having to, well, do some retouches to it and just just make sure it's all right. And plus, as I thought, 24th, uh, 29th I wanted to release a trailer, but I did, didn't so that's meaning I had to delay it until the 1st of November. Oh, I'm very happy about that, I am. <laughs> 
But trust me, trust me, it is coming, it is coming, and it should be coming. But apart from that, um, we do have other stuff on today. We've got The Truth, Episode 3, and we've got the Evil Gigs TV Final episode. And hopefully one of them should be premiered. Let's talk a bit about Femin for a second, as of beforehand. That was a before I saw Femin. Now, I understand in my review, you may have thought I was being a bit too nice, I was feeling a bit this or that. Well, people can give Sony a lot of shit for their past, but this film, honestly, the interactions between Eddie Brock and Femin was just absolutely amazing and just funny overall. Many people will criticise this film for the pacing of it, it's so bad it is, well... <laughs> I remember having a mindset of that for some films years ago, but now uh, it's different. And I feel like it's depending what people you are, who who are you around, and and just I don't know how much do you get out, how much do you think, how much feelings do you have when you say about these things? Because to me, Femin, I quite like it. I did. Yeah, the start may be a bit slow, but apart from that, it got back up and it just went boom. But again, like always, I know people will always think of Sony as being a failure and they should not have it. Then, I don't know, that's fine, it's up to you. But to me, um, I don't know. I don't mind seeing another film with Femin in it. After all, it, did be, it was a success. It was more of a success than the previous Spider-Man films that Sony has made, but yeah, that's better. Alright, before this gets too long, I'm going to end it here. So guys, now after this, what's happening now? But <laughs> I've got bad news for you. One, we will be uploading any leftovers, and as you know, the After Events 4 film. But then after all of that, it's just going to be me and video games, and unfortunately, we're going to be taking off some days. We're going back to the Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of no videos. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're going to like that. Now, this is for good reason. Reason being because I do have other stuff going on in my life during that time. And second, I have to start planning Christmas videos now. I do. I have to start getting stuff out. Now, I did plan it beforehand, but I got onto Halloween a bit more. But... Yeah, so Christmas videos will be coming. I do not know when. I do not know how. I You will know soon. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you've been watching any of the projects that I've been doing, thank you so much. And if you've enjoyed them, thank you. And yeah, happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, and uh, stay safe while trick-or-treating out there.